Deep within the annals of history lie secrets that continue to baffle our modern minds. These are not mere tales whispered around campfires, but tangible remnants of ancient technologies so advanced, so perplexing, that even our brightest minds struggle to comprehend them. In this exploration of the past, we journey to the very edge of our understanding, to examine 14 astonishing technologies that continue to defy explanation. From the precisely crafted blades of Damascus steel to the enigmatic symbols etched upon the Phaistos disc, we will delve into the mysteries that surround these artifacts and the cultures that created them. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare to venture into the depths of history, for what we are about to uncover may challenge our perceptions of the past and ignite our imaginations about the possibilities that lie ahead. Across the arid landscapes of the Middle East, a legend was forged in metal. Damascus steel, prized for its breathtaking beauty and unparalleled strength, was the envy of warriors and the dream of blacksmiths for centuries. But the secret of its creation, like the desert sands themselves, has shifted and scattered through time. Imagine swords so sharp they could cleave a silk scarf dropped upon their blade, yet so resilient they could bend to a 90-degree angle without breaking. These were the hallmarks of Damascus steel, a material seemingly imbued with magical properties. Heated and hammered countless times, folded and refolded upon itself, the metal emerged with a distinctive watered pattern on its surface, a testament to its internal strength. Modern science can only marvel at the complexity of Damascus steel's structure, a structure we can replicate but never fully understand. The ancient smiths who crafted these blades possessed knowledge passed down through generations, a knowledge that has been lost to the sands of time. The riddle of Damascus steel remains, a testament to the boundless ingenuity of our ancestors. In the heart of Delhi, amidst the bustling streets and vibrant culture, stands a silent sentinel from a bygone era. The Iron Pillar of Delhi, a testament to the metallurgical prowess of ancient India, has stood the test of time for over 1600 years, its iron surface remarkably free from rust. Towering over 23 feet tall and weighing over 6 tons, the pillar was erected by Chandragupta II, a powerful emperor of the Gupta dynasty. Inscriptions on its surface tell tales of military victories and royal lineage, but the true marvel of the pillar lies in its composition. Forged from a type of iron known as wrought iron, the pillar possesses an extraordinary resistance to corrosion. While iron structures around the world succumb to the ravages of rust and decay, the Iron Pillar of Delhi stands defiant, its surface protected by an invisible shield. Some theorize that the high phosphorus content of the iron, combined with the dry climate of Delhi, has created a protective layer known as misawite. Others speculate that the pillar's unique forging process, involving repeated heating and hammering, has imparted its remarkable longevity. The Iron Pillar of Delhi stands as a testament to the advanced knowledge and craftsmanship of ancient Indian metalworkers. On the island of Crete, steeped in myth and legend, lies a relic that has captivated archaeologists and cryptographers for over a century. The Phaistos disc, a small disc of fired clay, bears an inscription of enigmatic symbols, a language unlike any other known to man. Discovered in 1908 amidst the ruins of the Phaistos Palace, the disc's purpose and meaning remain shrouded in mystery. Its spiral inscription, composed of 45 unique symbols, has defied all attempts at decipherment, leaving scholars to speculate about its origins and significance. Some believe the symbols represent a form of hieroglyphic writing, perhaps documenting religious rituals or recording astronomical observations. Others speculate that the disk is a complex astronomical calendar, its symbols aligned with the movements of the stars and planets. The Phaistos disk stands as a tantalizing reminder of the vastness of human history and the many civilizations whose stories remain untold. In the annals of warfare, few weapons have inspired as much fear and awe as Greek fire. A liquid incendiary weapon used by the Byzantine Empire, Greek fire was a closely guarded secret, its composition and method of deployment, a mystery that has endured for centuries. Imagine warships engulfed in flames that could not be extinguished by water, a fiery terror unleashed upon enemies with devastating effect. This was the power of Greek fire, a weapon that helped secure Byzantine dominance in naval warfare for centuries. Chronicles from the era describe Greek fire as a liquid projectile, 
launched from tubes mounted on ships, or used in handheld grenades. The exact composition of Greek fire remains a subject of debate among historians and scientists. Some speculate it was a petroleum-based mixture, similar to napalm, while others believe it contained ingredients like quicklime, sulfur, and nitre. The secret of Greek fire, much like the flames it produced, seems to have vanished into thin air. In a time before modern seismographs, when the Earth's tremors were attributed to the anger of the gods, a brilliant inventor in ancient China devised a groundbreaking instrument. Zhang Heng, a polymath and master craftsman, created the world's first known seismometer, a device capable of detecting earthquakes hundreds of miles away. Imagine a large bronze vessel, its surface adorned with eight dragon heads, each facing a different compass direction. When an earthquake occurred, a bronze ball would drop from the mouth of the dragon facing the direction of the quake, signaling the location of the seismic event. The ingenuity of Zhang Heng's design lay in its sensitivity and accuracy. Historical records indicate that the seismograph successfully detected an earthquake hundreds of miles away, a testament to its remarkable capabilities. While the exact mechanism by which the Zhang Heng seismograph operated remains a subject of debate, its existence is a testament to the ingenuity and scientific prowess of ancient Chinese civilization. It stands as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge and the desire to understand the world around us are not limited to any one time or place. In the hushed halls of Yale University Library, a small, unassuming book holds court among countless other volumes. The Voynich Manuscript, named after the rare book dealer who acquired it in 1912, is a codex of mystery. Its pages are filled with an unknown script and bizarre illustrations that have baffled experts for centuries. The script, written in an elegant flowing hand, appears to follow its own internal logic. Yet, despite the best efforts of codebreakers, the Voynich Manuscript's language remains undeciphered. The Voynich Manuscript stands as a testament to the enduring power of the unknown. Scattered across the Roman Empire, from the rolling hills of England to the sun-drenched shores of the Mediterranean, archaeologists have unearthed a curious artifact. Roman dodecahedrons, small, hollow objects made of bronze or stone, each with twelve flat faces, have puzzled researchers for centuries. Imagine holding one of these enigmatic objects in your hand, feeling its weight, tracing your fingers over its smooth, worn surfaces. Each face is pierced with a hole of varying size, and the object's purpose remains a tantalizing mystery. Theories abound regarding the dodecahedron's function. Some suggest it was a surveying tool, used to calculate distances and angles. Others propose it was a religious artifact, perhaps used in rituals or as a symbol of the cosmos. Despite the lack of a definitive answer, the Roman dodecahedron continues to fascinate and intrigue. Our journey begins in the ancient Assyrian city of Nimrud, where in 1850, among the ruins of a palace, a discovery was made that continues to spark debate. This city, once a bustling hub of culture and power, now lies in ruins, but it still whispers tales of its glorious past. This artifact, a piece of rock crystal, carefully ground and polished, would come to be known as the Nimrud Lens. Its craftsmanship is a testament to the skill and precision of ancient artisans, who with limited tools managed to create something so intricate and precise. Held to the light, it reveals a magnified world, suggesting its use as a magnifying glass, or even a rudimentary telescope. Imagine the awe and wonder it must have inspired in those who first looked through it, seeing their world in a way they never had before. But how could a civilization thousands of years ago possess the knowledge to create such a sophisticated tool? This question opens a window into the advanced understanding of optics and craftsmanship that ancient civilizations might have had, far beyond what we often give them credit for. Was it a tool for craftsmen, for astronomers studying the heavens, or could it have served a more enigmatic purpose? Perhaps it was used in religious ceremonies or as a symbol of power and knowledge passed down through generations. The Nimrud lens, a silent sentinel from the past, holds its secrets close, leaving us to ponder the true extent of ancient knowledge. It stands as a reminder of the ingenuity and curiosity that has driven humanity forward throughout the ages. As we continue to study and learn from such artifacts, we gain not only insights into the past, but also inspiration for the future. 
In the depths of the Aegean Sea, a shipwreck dating back over 2,000 years yielded a treasure that would rewrite history. This ship, long forgotten beneath the waves, carried with it secrets of a bygone era, waiting to be uncovered by modern explorers. Among the cargo was a device of astonishing complexity, the Antikythera mechanism. This artifact, often referred to as the world's first analog computer, has fascinated historians and scientists alike since its discovery. This intricate assembly of bronze gears and dials, corroded by time, was no ordinary artifact. Each gear, meticulously crafted, fit together in a precise manner, showcasing the advanced technological capabilities of ancient civilizations. It was a machine of remarkable sophistication, capable of tracking the movements of celestial bodies, predicting eclipses, and even incorporating the complex cycle of the lunar orbit. The mechanism's ability to model the cosmos with such accuracy is a testament to the ingenuity of its creators. The Antikythera mechanism, with its intricate workings, speaks of a level of astronomical and engineering prowess that seems impossible for its time. It challenges our understanding of the technological limits of ancient societies and raises questions about what other marvels might have been lost to history. Who were the masterminds behind this ancient computer? Were they lone geniuses or part of a larger tradition of scientific inquiry and innovation? The identity of these brilliant minds remains shrouded in mystery. And what became of the knowledge needed to create such a marvel? Did it vanish with the fall of their civilization? Or was it passed down through generations, hidden in plain sight? The answers lost to the depths of time remain elusive. As we continue to study the Antikythera mechanism, we hope to uncover more about the ancient world and the incredible minds that once walked this earth. Each discovery brings us a step closer to understanding the full extent of their achievements and the legacy they left behind. Deep within the jungles of Costa Rica, shrouded in mist and mystery, lie hundreds of stone spheres, perfectly formed, as if sculpted by a giant hand. These enigmatic relics, some weighing over 16 tons, have stood for centuries, silent witnesses to a vanished civilization. Their purpose remained shrouded in enigma. Were they astronomical markers, territorial boundaries, or perhaps something more profound? The sheer scale and precision of these spheres, carved from granite with tools we can only imagine, defy explanation. The stone spheres of Costa Rica, like pieces of a giant puzzle, hint at a past we are only beginning to comprehend. Beneath the sun-drenched island of Malta lies a subterranean realm, a labyrinth of chambers and passages carved with astonishing precision. This is the hypogeum of Hal Safliani, a subterranean necropolis shrouded in mystery. Dating back over 5,000 years, it predates the pyramids of Egypt, yet its construction remains an enigma. Who were the people who carved this underground city from solid rock? What rituals were performed in its depths? The hypogeum, with its echoing chambers and intricate carvings, whispers of a time when the living and the dead walked hand in hand. The Saqqara Bird, a dream of flight. In a tomb near Saqqara, Egypt, a curious artifact was unearthed. A small wooden object shaped like a bird. This seemingly simple toy, dubbed the Saqqara Bird, would ignite a firestorm of debate. Could it be, as some believe, evidence that the ancients possessed knowledge of flight millennia ago? Its aerodynamic shape, with wings resembling an aircraft's, hints at a possible understanding of the principles of lift and drag. Was it a child's toy, a ceremonial object, or a tantalizing glimpse into a forgotten chapter of technological history? The Saqqara bird, with its silent wings spread wide, continues to soar on the winds of speculation. The Lycurgus Cup, a chalice of shifting light. This ancient artifact is not just a piece of history, but a marvel of ancient engineering and artistry. Imagine a cup that changes color before your very eyes, its glass shimmering with emerald green or ruby red depending on the light. This isn't a trick or an illusion, but a sophisticated interplay of materials and light. This is no mere fantasy, but the reality of the Lycurgus Cup, a Roman artifact dating back to the 4th century AD. Crafted with precision, and an understanding of materials that seems almost otherworldly, it stands as a testament to the advanced knowledge of the ancient Romans. The secret to its mesmerizing properties lies in nanotechnology, a science we associate with the modern era. Yet, here it is, employed by artisans over a thousand years ago, 
Embedded within the glass are particles of gold and silver, so small that they are measured in billionths of a meter. These nanoscale particles interact with light in a way that changes the color of the glass depending on the light source. This ancient nanotechnology predating modern science by over a millennium allowed the Romans to manipulate light, creating a visual spectacle that continues to captivate. The way these particles are dispersed within the glass is a feat of engineering that we are only beginning to fully understand today. The Lycurgus cup, a testament to the ingenuity of the past, reminds us that the line between magic and science is often blurred. It challenges our perceptions of what ancient civilizations were capable of and invites us to reconsider the technological prowess of our ancestors. This chalice is not just an artifact. It is a bridge between the past and the present, a symbol of the enduring human quest to understand and harness the mysteries of the natural world. Ancient Flying Machines Visions in the Sky Throughout history, tales have been told of flying machines, of chariots that soared through the heavens and celestial beings descending from the sky. Could these stories, often dismissed as myth and legend, hold a grain of truth? From the ancient Indian texts describing flying machines called Vimanas to the enigmatic Nazca lines etched into the Peruvian desert, evidence hints at a time when humanity dared to dream of flight. Were these ancient cultures visited by beings with advanced technology? Or did they themselves possess knowledge that has been lost to time? The possibility, however remote, sparks the imagination, reminding us that the past is a vast and mysterious landscape. Echoes of the Past As we emerge from our exploration of these ancient wonders, we are left with more questions than answers. The ingenuity and knowledge displayed in these artifacts challenge our understanding of the past, hinting at civilizations far more advanced than we ever imagined. Were these feats of engineering, these glimpses into the impossible, merely the product of human ingenuity, or could there be more to the story? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below, and join us next time as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating journeys into the unknown.